opinions. You know how that we want to soon that get politically conservative. So I ask you to to be of peace, peaceful minds when you listen to the words that I'm going to say today. And when we talk about climate justice, when we talk about those things that are essential to human life, and when we ask these corporations to, to stand aside, and when the people decide that it's time to take back their democracy from the corporate controlled governments and the corporations, when the people decide that, you gotta get up off your seat. You gotta get up and tell your friends, you gotta get up and bring that into schools of your children about what's been going on to indigenous peoples. Because if they had respected our lives as human beings from the beginning, since contact, we would not be in this terrible mess today where the lives of future generations are in peril because of what we are doing to the climate and to the earth today. And the reason why it's important that women be recognized, and not just token recognition, we want real recognition to bring back the power and the authority of Indigenous women in our decision, rights to make decisions on our lands and territories, rights to make decisions about our language, culture and education, and right to be part of discussing what are the solutions with the powers that be. Because Indigenous women were the targets of the Indian Act, because they knew that the power rested with the women. And right now, it's a man's world. And in fact, it's a rape culture, because for in Canada, rape of indigenous women have, has gone on with impunity, because it profits them to, to continue to oppress indigenous people, and the best way to do it is by the life giver themselves, the women, and it ruptures the family unit, and it's another form of genocide as far as I'm concerned.